lancé ta dame <rire> Find a way to make it all fit. See? Last time we we're gonna see a party boat leave the dock. <laughs> we're going to the Bahamas too. We're trying to clean up. We're almost there. Otherwise, Fred is in there trying to install our new autopilot. Oh, you can see the tip of his head there. There he is. Hello, Isa. Hello. Cooking duty. We're checking out our new autopilot. So far, so good. Preventer. You can see it there. We're doing some nice wing on wing. How about that autopilot, bro? It's super smooth. Yeah. Is that time? Yeah, you feel the pressure? It's like a little bit of pressure. It's like a little bit of pressure. It's like a little bit of we have a magnificent sunrise this morning. The sky is just so pretty. We're crossing West Palm Beach. Doing a fine seven knots. You can ask for much more. We need to wear on our fishing skills. Well, the skills are, are fine. I mean, didn't want to keep it too much. No, it's okay. I won't be able to keep it. And you just put it back in the water like a bunch of noobs. You got this nice little bluefin tuna. According to this, you look delicious. Why didn't you eat it? Because you didn't want to keep it. You can't trust me on these kind of decisions. Even my wife, if your heart's broken because you saw the fish, I'm not going to force you to. Admit it that you were like that too. Yeah, You're maybe. practically vegan. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You eat bird poop. Why wouldn't you eat that? Nice, nice. I made a little grill package with love, only to find out that the barbecue is not working. No barbecue. No barbecue. Oh. You have to go in the oven, my friend. We're 
just sailing past Miami and it's pretty busy and I'm cooking up the tuna we caught this morning. It smells delicious. And the water here is super blue and pretty and this is getting all really, really exciting. We had a pretty good night. We had lots of gusts up to like 36 knots of wind gusts and the autopilot, our new autopilot took it like a champ. So that's really nice. It's like having a fourth crew member on board. We'll probably set the spinnaker out after lunch because there's not much wind. You use that, we just set the spinnaker all by ourselves. Yay. We doused the mainsail, the two of us. I got a stove, and then we set this. Beautiful. So I'm just navigating between the Gulf Stream that that way, and a bunch of reefs that are that way. So I've got these reefs that I have to just steer clear of, and like these shoals. And I'm looking at one of the shoals right now, and you can see um, the waves breaking on top of it. So it's really cool to be able to look at the shoal on the chart and then look out at the horizon and see this big wave going over and it just kind of feels like your position. I have to say so far it's been a really, really, really nice outing. Everyone's asleep, but we just dropped anchor in Key Largo. Everything went really well. We had to avoid a few crab pots, avoid a few reeds, but went really, really well. It's 3 a.m. now. I'm just closing up all this stuff, finishing up the logs, setting the anchor watch. It should be good to go to bed. <laughs> trying to wire up our water maker. We can make some water. Water, yeah, buddy. Out on the islands. It's about cute. <laughs> lots and lots of trash. We picked up some trash from the little island we're at. There's this thing called Take Three for the Sea. So I got three, she's got four. Yay. Nice catch. Five. <laughs>